In this video, I'll cover how to make your own custom curtain wall mullion. And it, the process is actually uh, just the same as you would to make your own custom wall reveal or wall sweep. Uh, since I ran out of time in that video, um, I went ahead and made an extra one. So the way Revit makes mullions in curtain walls is it starts with a basic shape or profile shape and plan, and then it just extrudes it along a grid line um, in your curtain wall. So to make a new shape, you need to first make a new profile. So to do that, go to the big R at the top of the screen, pull down to new, and choose family. Browse to your family templates, and we're gonna look for a template for a new mullion profile. Once you find profile dash mullion, click open. And you'll see the template open up, open up and what it's telling you is that you have uh, a center line showing this, the center line of your mullion. This will be the left and right side. The reference plane going left and right is defining the, uh, the front and back sides of the glass. And um, there are notes telling you which side is the interior and going to be the exterior um, of your curtain wall in this orientation. A note here is telling you that curtain panels are trimmed to where the profile sketch intersects this center reference plane. What that means is as you draw your mullion profile shape out, wherever your lines cross this reference plane, that's where your glass panes stop in your curtain wall. So using the line tool at the top of the screen under the Create tab, I can choose any of these line tools to make whatever shape I want to in plan. But I have to keep in mind that wherever these lines cross this reference plane, that's where the glass stops, which uh, usually is pretty straightforward, except if you want to make something like a butt glaze mullion where the mullion sits behind the glass, then uh, one workaround to that is to at least have a little piece extend past this line to stop the glass. Otherwise, it won't define a glass panel. So uh, I'll go ahead and draw out a shape starting at the center line of the glass. And I'll just kind of... Um, draw out a little bit of a protrusion in front to make sure it's crossing over. Come back and then go out. Make sure when you're drawing your shape that you close the loop and when you're done with the shape, um, just save it out uh, and give it a name. So going to the top of the screen, I'll use the R, pull down, and choose Save As, Family. I'll call this Buckley's Mullion. Once it's saved, go ahead and load it into your project. And now I want to create a new mullion type that uses that profile that I've just created. So to do that, I want to go to the mullion tool. So under the home tab, click on mullion. And it's already selected the mullion for me. So I want to duplicate it by going to the element properties, click type properties, and in here click duplicate and give it a new name. In this case, I'll call it butt glaze mullion type. Click OK. And in its type properties, you can see a parameter called profile where you can pull down the pull down menu and swap it out for the Buckley's mullion profile that you've just created. Once you do that, click OK. And now that you've uh, created the new mullion type, going back to the mullion tool, I'll select the new type I've created and place it in the curtain grid. Um, to do that, of course, you got to create a curtain grid line. And now I can uh, grab this existing mullion and swap it out for the new mullion type I've created. To get a better look at this, I will go to a floor plan view. And zooming in, you can now see the difference between uh, the existing mullions, and the new mullion profile type I created. 